that's a herring or a white crane I should say or a white herring I don't know there's a blue one and a white one they were over there and they flew up into that tree you can see him right the little white guy and then his buddy went over here somewhere his buddy's blue and that guy's white so it's a blue herring with a white herring What's the noise they make? It sounds like they're saying ma, like mama. Ah! Mm, there goes the other one. He didn't look very big. Must be its youngster. chilling out with the geese the geese and turtles that pop up their head here and there It'll be one any second I bet you I've been sitting here contemplating to do a video like I need to do a video to let people know about my health and my situation but <clears throat> I did this 10 years ago they did a full page article in the newspaper about me and right after that happened, all the tough guys in the neighborhood all of a sudden wanted to fight me. They were all scared of me before, but once they seen how uh, fragile and disabled I am, oh, all of a sudden they wanted to fight. And then my car starts getting vandalized and broken into. And then my mailbox. And then my storage. And then after my storage, they broke into my apartment. And uh, they didn't take anything valuable. They were taking like pot and taking soft drinks and helping themselves to food. And when I buy bottles of drinks or cans of, of drinks, I always save the empties and put them back inside the case they came in. So if there's 24 bottles, there's 24 bottles when I'm done. Unless I'd have one in the car or brought one with me out in the bush and threw it in the garbage. And there he goes. I think I missed it. <laughs> Oops. Uh, so yeah, man, I'm contemplating about going public again. I need to. I mean, I'm going to be on the street in two weeks here if I don't get some help. And it's not money I'm after. It's, it's someone who has a home, someone who has a van, someone who has an RV, something that I can stay in until I can find a place. I mean, money helps, but if... Uh, Let's say I use that money to get a place I can't afford because I can only afford 800 a month. So say people are sending me money and I can get like 200 bucks extra each month. That'll give me like a thousand bucks. So I might get a better room, not in a crime area. But what happens the following month, the month after that, the month after that? If there's, if there's nobody helping me, I'm, you know, I'm going to be back to square one. So I, that's my dilemma. It's not really... A matter of money. I mean, money will help out. It might help me in the current situation, but um, I, I need somewhere to stay. And I'm not an I'm not an asshole. I'm not someone who causes trouble. I'm not someone who lies. You, you ask me something, I'll tell you the truth. I'm very clean. Um, I don't make any noise. Don't even watch TV. Don't even watch radio or listen to radio. I just have my laptop. And that's it. And because of my immune system, I need a clean place. Or at least my, my spot clean, you know. I keep my room clean. I, if I'm using the kitchen, I clean up after myself. If I'm using the shower, I clean up after myself. I have to because of my immune system. Uh, but some of the places I've rented, I've been cleaning up after other people. Because they won't clean their place. They clean it when they show it. When they're showing it, they make it all nice and clean. So you think they live clean. And then once you move in, you find out they don't clean their dirty pigs. And that's what happened in the last place I met, I was at. I was cleaning up after two guys, and the one guy was a drunken idiot, didn't believe I was disabled, even though, there, even though there was a full page article on my health. And he heard that in the interview. He sat down at the table, listened to me talk to the people who owned the home during the interview. And he sat there and listened to it all, and then used it all against me. And then wants to fight me, picking fights with me, literally fist fights. Um, so I had to leave. 
going to this new place, said Christian home. Phoned him up, talked to him. I said, I need my own bathroom. He said, oh yeah, you have your own private bathroom. We just use the shower, so you don't have to worry. But my daughter's coming home in four months, so if you can't share, you'll have to leave then. And I said, that's okay, no problem. It wasn't even two weeks after me moving in there. The guy puts out an ad on Kijiji. People are coming over. He's telling me they're his friends. His friends are coming to look at the, um, his friends are coming over. Can I go in my room? So I go in my room. Of course, the room right next to mine is the one he's renting out. And you can hear him saying the same thing he, he said to me, to all them. And then the last guy that showed up, he told him whoever gives me the money first can have the place. So the guy said, okay. And he gave him the money right there at the end of the day. It looks like I got some company. So yeah, after the end of the day, um, guy gave him his money. Next thing you know, he's sitting there renting out the place to a complete stranger knowing that I have an autoimmune d disorder problem. He didn't care. He didn't care one bit. And I've been sick four times now. They had salmonella. Gave me salmonella with chicken in the sink. On purpose, they worked for a restaurant. They know about cross meat contamination and his wife put a whole bucket of frozen chicken inside the sink that I use. Not their side, of course. Cranks on the water on full because she was probably fighting with him and upset. Then after cranking the water on full, the water's splashing off, of course, on the chicken, onto the counter, onto the floor, everywhere. And she only did it for five minutes right before she knew I needed the kitchen to cook. And like I said, they owned a restaurant, so they know exactly what they're doing. So sure enough, I clean up my dishes after cooking in that sink. You know, I even wiped it down with his little handy wipes, didn't help. And then like six hours later, I start getting cramps in my gut where I could barely even stand up, had to come home and use the toilet. And I was like that for like uh, almost a week. And then after that, my back mysteriously went out and I started getting severe back pain. I started traveling up my back. See you guys, God bless you. And then after the back pain started traveling up my back, then my hip went out. I looked online at the symptoms and all that and they were saying like uh, salmonella poisoning, of course, and then meningitis. Some of the symptoms I had were close to meningitis. Thank God I didn't have it. But, uh, yeah, that guy's just a complete idiot, man. He doesn't clean his home, doesn't do nothing. I came in there, I had to clean everything. There was literally grease all over the cupboards, grease all over the light switches, grease on the floor, grease on the side of the stove, like, everywhere. They just don't clean, man. They don't clean at all. And when I asked him about it, I said, hey, I cleaned the floor last night letting him know I'm helping out. He just goes, okay, thank you, and puts his face down on his phone. All right? So I did that like 10 times. Each time I'd do it, I'd come out the next day, and you'd see shit all over the floor again. All over. So, anyways. The guy's lying to my face about everything. Someone was stealing my margarine and my cream, helping themselves to it. I had to wrap it up in plastic bags just to see if anybody's touched them. That didn't help. They still did it. Told the guy, uh, he's asking me about my health, like literally, I don't know, four or five days ago. And I was telling him that it's a collagen disorder and collagen makes it worse. He goes, well, why don't you just take more collagen? I said, yeah, well, when we take more collagen, it makes it worse because the disease feeds off collagen. He goes, oh, oh, not even two days later after telling him that, guess what shows up on the kitchen counter? A jar of collagen. Not just normal collagen, but 10,000 milligrams of collagen, extra strength. And it's never moved, it's just sat there. That sounds like a bird right now. Yeah, it sounds like a bird right now. It's like, what kind of idiot does that? They find out, oh, this, this will make you really sick. Okay, here, let me get a jar of it and put it on my kitchen counter so you can stare at it every day and get paranoid. We're putting it in your food that we're tampering with or helping ourselves to. That's the type of idiot he is. Come home last night to use the washroom. There's like, the whole washroom floor is covered in little black specks. 
and the black specks are coming from the roommate's slippers. Not mine, the roommate's slippers. Everywhere he goes, he leaves little black specks everywhere. Just like I used to, until I started cleaning my slippers every day because his floor is so dirty. You clean your slippers, and next thing you know, by the end of the day, your slippers are covered in dirt from his floors because, you know, he cleans them so well. So I'm pretty sure he gathered all that crap up and threw it all on the floor. Because the guy, I've been there five months, okay? And I've, I've seen when he goes in there, you can see a little bit of the stuff that he leaves behind himself. Well, this time it was like 10 times more. I was only gone like three hours, you know, not 10 days. So the guy put it all over the floor on purpose, knowing that I'd have to clean it. All right. And then when I'm sitting there using the toilet, I look in the shower, and what do you see at the back of the shower? It looks like a bunch of blood going down the back of the, sh the shower. And then where the drain is, you can see right beside the drain, a pool, like about this big, a round pool that looks like dried blood. On the back of the friggin' tub and on the front of the tub. The roommate had a shower on Friday, so I sent the guy a text, and I said, hey, there's something that looks like blood in the, in the shower. Can you clean it for me? Oh, no, song and dance time. He starts fucking yelling. He denies it, first of all. And then when he comes home, he says, Oh, we didn't even shower today. It, uh, it was George. George showered this morning and left. I said, oh, oh, I thought George showered on Friday. So I thought it was you guys. He goes, Oh, well, no, no, it wasn't us. So I go back into my room, and then he comes knocking on the door, and he goes, uh, it's, I think it's uh, fungus. I think it's fungus in there. Uh, I cleaned it up. I cleaned the shower, and uh, now it's your turn. I said, excuse me? He goes, yeah, no, it's your turn to clean. You don't clean, you don't clean. Yeah, and he starts yelling at me, like at the top of his voice, being a f complete freaking psycho, saying I don't clean his home. When I clean every day, I couldn't even use his air fryer because his wife would leave all the crumbs and this white, yellowy, mus mustard, or white, weird, mustardy stuff on it. So I'd have to clean the basket, clean the crumbs, just so I could put mine on there because I don't want to obviously contaminate my food with someone else's food because you don't know where her hands have been. And if you look at their home, you would be just like me and you wouldn't want to touch anything they touch. So, so now I'm, I'm, the, I'm, uh, I'm supposedly having to pay. That's what he said. Eh? He goes, oh, if you're not going to clean it, then you pay someone to clean it. You've never cleaned since you've been here. I said, really, buddy? I said, you just want to yell at somebody. And I'm sick and tired of your crap. And I closed my door. All right. Went downstairs, forgot my vaporizer, came back upstairs, grabbed my vaporizer, and I hear his wife saying, Oh, thank you, George. Thank you. Thank you, George. Because they were telling George to clean it. Meanwhile, I sent George a message asking him, Hey, George, did uh, you didn't happen to leave anything in the shower, did you? There's like look, something that looks like blood in there. And he said, No, I'm not bleeding. And I said, I know you're not bleeding, but Jose says you were. And he also said it was fungus and that you were the last one in there. And he replied back saying, I don't have fungus. So I told him again, I said, I know, that's just what Jose's saying. All right, so what they did is they went and told him to clean it. That's exactly what they did. Anyways, I think these guys want to come up here and I'm stealing their spot, so I'm going to head out. God bless. Peace.